Dan Hort with Bearcat football coach Tommy Tuberville in scenic Newport, Rhode Island for American Conference Media Days. Earlier today, coach, the Bearcats picked to finish first over the likes of UCF, East Carolina, Houston, etc. What was your reaction? Well, it's kind of like fantasy land, Dan. Uh, if you look around all this beautiful weather here in Rhode Island and you think you're in another country. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of skeptical a little bit. We do have some good football players coming back and we'll have a good football team. But when you don't have an experienced quarterback underneath center that's played a lot of college football then it's kind of concerning but uh, hey it is what it is we'll go after it and we'll take the crown and hopefully we can <laughs> keep it all the way through. You won nine games in year one and year one is typically a, a transition year it takes a little while to get going and maybe that was the case for your team you played better and better as the year went along but going into year two is there an added comfort level? Well you know we had a good football team last year and uh, most of it was because of experience but for some reason, we were very unlucky as the year went on. We kept losing that experience. Most of the guys that had played a lot, you know, like our center, fifth-year senior, or two guards were fifth-year seniors, and we just kind of lost that experience, and we played a lot of young guys. But, you know, that hurt last year. It might help this year because all those guys like Deshaun Bond, our center, who was a freshman, had to play the entire year. Uh, so uh, we've got a good mixture of experience. We've got a good mixture of uh, guys that have been in battles but you know, we'll have to wait and see how this team gels. No matter how many you've got coming back, I've been on teams that have had a, almost every starter back and it, you've been disappointed at the end of the year of how things turn out. Then I've had teams that had very few starters coming back and we'd play very well. So every team's different and we'll just see what happens. Quarterback is an open competition going into camp, although Gunnar Keel had the inside track coming out of spring ball. When would you like to have that decision determined? Oh, the first two weeks. We want to get through at least one scrimmage, see where we're at. Now, Munchie, it's kind of a unique situation. Everybody knows Munchie's situation. Bad injury, second ball game of the year last year. Nobody ever thought he'd come back. And by this time, I thought maybe he would be about 60%. Well, he's about 80%. He's getting close. Now, that's physical. And then you have to throw that mental uh, uh, verdict in there also because uh, when you've had an injury like that, you've got to fight through a lot of things. But he's a battler, and NCAA's forethought of giving him a sixth year was, was good for him. Uh, this is it for him. So uh, he's worked very hard in off season. He's rehabbed. Uh, he's still a ways away. We'll see what happens. You're a little less than two weeks from the start of camp. Going into the season, what do you consider the team's strength? and the biggest weakness? Oh, I'd probably say our strength right now is our receivers. You know, we've got guys that can run. We've got a lot of speed. Uh, defensively, we've, uh, uh, you know, I, I like Jeff Luke. You know, his, his presence at middle linebacker, we moved him to outside to inside. I think that's really going to help. Our defensive line, uh, Silverberry, Muhan, uh, he's really, really uh, improved since we, we've stepped on campus. He's a very hard worker. The area that we've got to improve in is our kicking game. We were very average last year. Uh, we've got a lot of competition now at our punting position and our field goal position. They've worked hard this summer. We'll just see what happens. But there's three phases, phases of your football team that has to come together to be productive. And uh, right now we've got a lot of work to do in a lot of those areas. The schedule is interesting for a couple of reasons. One, you basically start with back-to-back -back buys. Two, your home games will be at Paul Brown Stadium mm -hmm. for one year. What are your thoughts on those two things? Well, uh, playing at Paul Brown, it'll be fun. I think it'll be good for the fans. It'll be good for the team. Uh, uh, one year is going to be enough of it. You know, uh, it's a beautiful stadium, but I, I like an on-campus stadium. Being at Nippert, and I tell you, the construction is going great, and and we'll be excited about getting back. So, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the, the whole thing about about college football is make it fun for your team, make it fun for your fans, enjoy it. But winning also helps. And so we're excited about uh, competing wherever. We've got a tough schedule. We've got to go, we've got to play, we have to play two Ohio, three Ohio teams uh, to begin the season. Then we go to Miami, Florida to play. Uh, but we're starting so late, I tell people we're not playing until Thanksgiving, it seems like. Uh, <laughs> uh, it just, uh, the schedule was, I don't know, you, somebody dropped the ball and uh, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we'll take our schedule. We're going to start later and only have one open date, which is going to hurt us, you know, being healthy all, all through the season. But uh, but our, our kids have worked hard this summer. They're excited about the season no matter when it starts. It's about to be your 19th year as a college football head coach. Butterflies the same as ever yeah. or, or does it change? And that's just a head coach now. Right. <laughs> I, I coached many years as an assistant. You know, everybody asks, do you get excited? I, I really don't get excited. I'm excited all year long. 
but I am excited about this group because I've watched them work all summer and I watched them in the spring and how much they want to win and how much they want to be better and a little bit disappointed last year with losing our last two games to Louisville in overtime and then of course the bowl game to North Carolina. But uh, we've got good leadership on this team. Uh, I just I, I try to get out of the way. We've got good coaches. Uh, we try to organize it as best we can. We'll go to higher ground. We'll try to put the pieces together that uh, have not we've not been able to find. Uh, and hopefully we find those pieces before we get to Toledo on what September the 12th, something like that, and on a Friday night. So uh, it's fun to put it together. That, that somebody asked me, what's the most fun? And most fun of, is working with the kids and trying to put all the things together to make it a better football team. We're going to be good, but we can be better if we get everything going in the right direction. I know you had a good season and a good off season, rather it included a hole in one. Here's to uh, having a great second season on the field. Nice yeah, to visit. yeah, thank you. All right, that is Bearcat head coach Tommy Tuberville. Much more to come from Newport right here on GoBearcats.com.